Have you ever wondered why you can ask a large language model like ChatGPT or Bard or Claude to actually write in the style of your favorite author? For example, I have asked Bard here to write in the style of J.K. Rowling when writing an essay about Harry S. Truman, and it's done so very well. But is this an infringement of copyright? Because J.K. Rowling's books, all of her works, are in fact still protected by copyright? Or is this just part of the normal use of any text? Hi, I'm Prof C, and I talk about generative AI and its effect on business, society, education, and jobs. And today I want to talk about this controversial issue of the fact that all these large language models have used pirated data, so well-known pirated data, books, papers, things like that, to actually train themselves. Is that a violation of copyright? Is that just regular use of materials? Let's get into the details. Well, I want to pull up here an archive called Anna's Archive. This is one of several archives. Book three is another big one that um, is basically an open library of books. So you can have over 25 million books that you can search through here, over or close to 100 million papers. And you can find, for example, the Harry Potter series. Okay, and I can download a Harry Potter novel here, and that would definitely violate copyright because I'm not paying the copyright holder or getting permission from the copyright holder to have that text and use it. However, large language models have actually trained themselves on this material, the idea being that they need to get lots and lots of information about how humans write sentences. And we could think that that's probably a pretty good thing, right? And along the way, it just happened to learn the style of writing of folks like J.K. Rowling or Mark Twain or any other authors along the way. However, the big question is, does this violate copyright? Well, if I was to go to the library and read all these Harry Potter books, I would probably get pretty good at writing in the style of J.K. Rowling as well, especially if I worked hard to study and mimic her writing. But that would take a lot of work. Certainly authors do that. If you want to look at fan fiction online, you're going to find lots of examples there. But that's a little bit different than training a large language model to be able to do this at scale. Or is it? Is it the same thing? This is really a legal gray area, and this is one that is going to be figured out by the courts because a lot of these authors are actually suing these big tech companies saying you are, in fact, infringing on my works by being able to write in my style, even though we would not do the same if Prof. C started learning how to write like the author of Game of Thrones. We would not say that that particular uh, instance is a direct infringement on that person's work of art. But the big tech companies are arguing that, hey, we're not actually spitting out Harry Potter to our users. We are just learning from what we have ingested. Okay, I'm spitting out something entirely different. So that's where the rub is. What is actually copyrightable? Is the look and feel of a text copyrightable? Well, so far, the courts have said that look and feel is really not copyrightable, at least to some extent. Is it the actual verbatim work? That is really where we say the copyright lies. So what do you think? Is this just an example of we have some old laws, some old thinking about copyright and we need to update it because of the enormity of these systems and the ability of them to spit out information so fast? Or do you think that uh, these authors are just whining a little bit too much about all this pirated data being used to train these large language models? And in fact, we probably need to get even more books into the system, scan them all in, so that these large language models get better and have the entire knowledge of humanity behind them. Let me know what you think in the comments below. This is definitely a gray area, and we're going to see how it gets sorted out. I want to know what you think about it 
And thank you so much for watching. If you've gotten to the end of one of my videos, you know you're part of an elite crowd and you should probably subscribe.